Hey friends, it's Patty Bennett. I have the most amazing fun cards to show you today. Wait till you see what's inside these. So I, I know that's backwards, but you'll see them right side up when I flip the camera. But check this out. I can't even believe how fun these cards are. I can't even get the whole thing on the screen. So I have about four what I would call milestone birthdays to celebrate just in the next few months. So a 50th, a 65th, a 60th, and a 75th. And so I decided to make each person a card that has that many candles. So I'm going to show you how to make this because I was just going to do a blog post and then I thought, no, this will be much better on a video. I'm going to flip the camera down so you can see kind of step by step. But look, isn't this just so cute and colorful and fun? And of course, you could do any colors, any patterns, any theme, right? I have a funny story for you, though. So my friend Joy is going to get this card this weekend. Well, when you're watching this, she will have already received it. I'm recording this early because I have to give these two cards away within the next few days. But she will receive this card this weekend when I'm filming it. And when she turned 70, this is so funny, we had a big birthday party for her at um, a local restaurant. And I had seen this idea on Pinterest where you get however many candles, birthday candles that the person is celebrating. So we had 70 candles and you kind of gather them up and you put a ribbon around it and you put it in the cake or the cupcake and then you light it. And it's supposed to be like this really big celebration. So we did that and we lit it. <laughs> and literally this flame goes poof, like way up in the air. And we all jumped and screamed reached. <laughs> we are so lucky it was a really high ceiling and nothing happened, but I I think we will never forget that day. But anyway, now uh, we are celebrating her 75th birthday this weekend, and so I wanted to share this fun card with you. Now, if you are looking for a live video today, it's not happening. So let's see, this would be the 24th when this is published, February 24th. I am uh, busy doing some things with friends, and so I won't be able to do a live video for you today. So that's why I've pre-recorded this. If you're looking for the coordinating cards, all the uh, inside photos and everything, pattystamps.com is where you're going to find it today. And I will link below this YouTube video so that you can go right to the blog post. And maybe you're just watching this on my blog. Fine. That's great. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're here or that you're back. And if you're looking for the supplies, they are also in the description of the YouTube video or on my blog. So I'm going to flip the camera so that you can see how I made these. And I think you're just going to love these cards. I hope that you will have someone that you can make a card for. It doesn't have to be a milestone either. I think it would be fine if it was just, you know, any number of birthday, but these were particularly fun to do for these milestone birthdays. So let me flip the camera and let's look at how fun these are to make. Awesome, there we go. All right, so let me show you how much fun these are. We'll talk about the front in just a couple minutes, but I wanna show you how I did the insides and how I kind of calculated and laid everything out. I randomly decided on a one inch by three inch piece of designer paper from Stampin' Up! for the candle. And you could make these any size, doesn't have to be. But, oh, excuse me, I said one. Half inch by three inches. I'm sorry, half inch by three inches. Randomly decided that. And once I decided that, I saw that if I took a half sheet of thick basic white cardstock, so that would be your whole sheet, 
I scored it at five and a half, cut it at four and a quarter so that you get two out of each sheet. So you can see it's going to fold in half. And that way, it, it just, I mean, it just worked out that you can get eight candles. And you can see I've kind of got them evenly, somewhat evenly spaced. I just eyeballed them. You could totally measure them if you want to. But it allowed for eight candles per half of a card. And so then you just kind of multiply and, you know, depending on how old the person is and how many candles you want, you can just figure that out. And you could say eight plus eight plus eight plus eight, right? And then you just figure out how many you need. So for this one, six times eight was 48. And I put the last two here and I it's happy 50th. So let's look at how I did these sheets and how I connected them together because I had kind of a fun thought about connecting it together and I think that you'll like this idea. I put a strip down along the bottom. You can see here that this one has a green strip and this one has the Calypso Coral Stars. It just kind of grounds the candles. You're like You don't have to do that but but I thought that looked kind of fun. So you just put a little squiggle of glue and put your one inch strip. And if you want to do a different size, totally fine. I just did one inch and it's the 12 by 12 designer paper. So there's an inch hanging over. I'm just going to trim that off with my paper snips. And then, like I said, for the candles, it was a random decision that they would be half inch by three inches. And so I got out all these beautiful, fun designer papers, all different papers. I even used some glimmer paper and I used some textured shimmer paper. I just used a whole bunch of different paper. So if you cut them in three inch tall strips, and then you can cut, oh gosh, you can easily cut about three pieces at once with the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. So I've got my three inch tall pieces and you just tuck them over here to the half inch mark and cut. And I just started cutting a whole bunch of strips so that I had lots of variety. And remember, you can use both sides. So don't forget, it's kind of fun if you just flip half of them upside down. And I would recommend at least eight different patterns or colors. And I did not do a repeating pattern. I did them as random as my brain would let me do them, but using just about eight or ten patterns that repeat. And I just, I liked that look. And you know, you don't have to, you can do it whatever floats your boat. So then I took my little T-square ruler. You can get these off of Amazon. Now they come 12 inches long, but for most of the things that I do, I only use um, like five and a half to six inches. So I had my husband cut mine off with, I don't know, I didn't ask him what tool, but some tool in the garage. And I laid it down there so that I had just sort of a guideline of where I was going to put the bottom of my strips. And I started on each end. I don't know if you can see it. Let me lift this up so you can tell that the fold is here. Do you see the fold is right there? So I've got one kind of tucked up near the fold and one at this end. And then I just kept doing stripes of my glue, just a little bit of glue, liquid glue, so that you can kind of massage them into place. And I'm leaving, gosh, I don't know, uh, a, around an eighth of an inch in between each one. And once you do this once, you kind of get a feel for it. And it becomes a little easier to do 
each successive page. It just feels like, well, that one's not three inches. Huh, wasn't that fancy? I'm going to have to trim that one to use it. Um, what was I saying? It just becomes a little easier each time you do it. So let's see. I better make sure I have two pieces left here. Um, please hold while I find a piece that I haven't used. Well, let me cut a new one. Let's oh, let's do a purple and let's do um, a shimmer. So let's cut a half inch and a half inch there. Oh, look, the blue. I like the blue. Let's do that. Since that <laughs> that's convenient because it sort of landed in the glue anyway. So we'll just do that and then we'll do the purple shimmer. So, and that one's not three inches. Well, okay, I will fix that one. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you that's basically how I laid them out. And then let me show you the super cool trick for the candle uh, flames. I looked at my punches and I found this little birdie punch. The wing I thought was the perfect flame. And look at this fun paper. This is actually from Hues of Happiness. It's got the flowers on the other side. And if you wanted to just use plain yellow or, you know, any color for that matter, you can. I decided to use this. And I liked it because it kind of has variation. Do you see how these flames are all not just a solid yellow color? They kind of have a variation of yellow to mustardy sort of color. So that's what I decided to do. And I just went across the top and I just put a dot of glue at the top of every one and just laid these little yellow birdie wing <laughs> flames. And so that is how I laid them out. Just disregard this one. I, I don't know. I obviously did not have that one cut to three inches tall. But you get the idea, right? Now, let me show you how I attached all of these together. Because at first, my thought was that I was just going to cut a whole bunch of these half sheets and I was going to layer them on top of each other like this to make the accordion. And then I thought, wow, that almost doubles the thickness of the cardstock if you just keep overlapping them. So I came up with this idea. I have a four and a quarter by three inch piece of designer paper. I've scored it and folded it in the middle. I simply glued one to the back of here and then I took this next one and I laid it on top. I added the glue here and I closed it up so that when you open it back up, see you have these on the back. So they're just kind of hinges that are holding it all together. And that worked really well for me. I thought that was kind of a fun way to add some extra color, but not make it as bulky. So you can tell it's already pretty thick. If you were to, I'm not mailing these, but if you were to mail them, it would get even thicker if you had overlapped every other piece. So let's talk about the front and the personalization in the back. I used my super favorite set, Biggest Wish. I have used this so much. I love this set. So that's what I did, the Happy Happy Birthday here. I think I used it, yep, used it in the back, Happy Birthday. And then on this one, I did Happy Happy Birthday and Happy, and then let me talk about the numbers, but the Happy and Birthday are from Biggest Wish from Stampin' Up. For the numbers, 
depending on when you're watching this video, this may be out as an available item or it may still be in pre-order. February 2023 is pre-order for this. But these classic letters, this new alphabet set, is part of our online exclusive that debuts to customers March 1st, 2023. And I just used the numbers out of there to do the 50th and the 70, well, the 50 and the 75. And I thought, oh, it needs a TH. And lo and behold, I grabbed my Alphabest set and I just used the T and the H, combined it with the classic letters, and I was able to do the TH. And so I thought that was really fun. Now, I know you're going to say, where'd you get the cute little heart? This is actually a retired punch. I had it on my desk because of making Valentine's. And you can use any punch or die cut that you have to do that. On this one, I used, look how cool. This is the Enjoy the Adventure. Wait, is that what it's called? Let me just check here. I have it out. Um, yeah. Oh, no, Enjoy the Journey. Enjoy the Journey. These uh, amazing papers have scenes on them, but depending on what part you use, I've used it for several of the candles, and then I die cut the For You background out of this and so you get really cool colors like a gradient it almost looks like you took time to use a blending brush but you didn't you just cut it and this is from the love for you dies has the matching love for you stamp set so i stamped for you die cut it out with the smaller one and then did the outline with the larger one and if you can see, can you tell? Yeah, you can tell that the For You is popped up. So here's a little tip for you. I just took a scrap and I put a piece of our foam adhesive sheet on it and then I die cut it. And so that's underneath this gradient patterned paper. And I thought that was just a fun way to get a little extra dimension there. Added a couple candles to the front and then on this one, oh, I just realized I used the same paper on both. I didn't even notice that till just now, but I love this paper. This, gosh, if you're watching this live, you only have four days left to get this paper. And it is a celebration paper called Dandy Designs. It has the best colors and patterns of paper. This is a free celebration item with a $100 order. So if you are watching this after... February 28th, 2023, that paper is gone. Sorry to say, but I hope you've stocked up like I did. <laughs> so I just added the stamping on the die cuts. Both of these are from the Scallop Contour dies. And a little bit of stamping. Again, a retired little uh, star punch, but you could use any punch or die cut that you have. So aren't these fun? Luckily, both of the recipients enjoy bright fun colors so these were so easy to create because I love bright fun colors and I used uh, different patterns from the dandy designs enjoy the journey flowers and more the textured shimmer paper and the fine shimmer paper I just mixed and matched every I just mixed and matched it all I just I went to town with these I just loved these so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that gives you a little bit of instruction on how you can make one. And I, you know, it's so funny. I have to tell you this. When I was thinking about my friend Joy's 75th birthday coming up, and I knew I wanted to make her a special card, I thought about 75 candles. I just wasn't sure how I was going to make the card, exactly what it was going to look like. And I am not kidding you, that very day on Instagram in my feed, there was an idea very much like this. And I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot to look it up right before this video, but I will link it on my blog to who did this sort of a accordion idea. And I, I'm sorry, I should have looked it up first, but it'll be on my blog. And so I just want to say uh, thank you to whoever had that idea, because it's just, it's just too much fun. It's, and you can't even like get this all on camera. Look how fun this is. 
<laughs> so I can't wait to see the recipients' faces when they get these cards. And I'm sure if you make it, the recipients that you give it to are going to love it as well. So thank you again for joining me. Again, if you're looking for the projects, pattystamps.com or you can just link below the YouTube video if you are watching this on YouTube. Thank you again, everybody, and I will see you next week.